about Mumu, what's your first thought, first impression of the boat? My first impression is this is not a kayak, but it's so much fun! Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Mumu Outdoors. I'm out here at Headwaters uh, Boathouse in uh, Lodi Lake. And today I'm out here to demo this guy. This is a Johnny Boat Bass 100. So question is, is this a kayak? Or is this a, a John Boat? It's not a kayak. <laughs> we'll find out. So we have Matt here, the kayak rigging master from uh, Headwaters Kai Shop and uh, he's gonna play in my Revo today he's got an Outback for himself but he's never been on a Revo so I brought mine out so he can play in it and I'll be playing this guy and I'll tell you all about it alright I'll see you guys when we get on the water Alright. Alright, I'm in. You should not be flipping this thing. <laughs> I hope not. Woo! Yeah, and uh, it takes a second for one. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> this thing is super turkey. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Going up against the current on the colony, and mass beating me right now. <laughs> My Revo 13 is faster. <laughs> Pretty stable, thirty-five point five inches wide, so. Tons of stability. Standing up is super easy. It's got a little padding here and it feel, feels really good when you are on it. Nice and soft. So standing up is really good. This boat is made to have a motor in the back or here at the pot so you can have a uh, torpedo in the back just like this one or even a gas motor a Suzuki 2.5 and also have a trolling motor up here down here as well so you got yourself a little nice bass boat pretty much uh, these days uh, installing a trolling motor on a kayak has become really popular uh, but you know, obviously you have to make a lot of modification to it. Matt modified quite a few kayaks with, uh, to install a trolling motor. But if you get something like this, it's ready for the motor already. So uh, no modification is needed. You can just simply put a motor in the back or put a trolling motor up here or trolling motor in the back. Uh, whatever motor you want to put on. Is pretty much ready. So paddleability, considering this is not a kayak, it actually paddles not bad. It's a lot of work, but you can definitely paddle this, make a minor adjustment. And short distances. Like going 100 yards, 100 yards. Uh, this is totally capable of doing that. And uh, with the motor in the back, this thing is so much fun. All right, we're uh, 
um, not much current over here and uh, not much wind so we're gonna do a little speed test I got my GPS over here Yeah, I want to say the max speed is 5.6. This is what I'm reading. So with the Torquedo 1003, uh, Torquedo 1003, uh, you can get up to 5.6 miles an hour on this guy, which is really good speed. With the Suzuki gas motor on it, uh, this thing is gonna fly. I, I'm assuming 10 plus easily. All right, don't fall in then. I need a life jacket. Seriously. Oh, there you go. And then left. All right. Yahoo! Wow. This is the go-to boat in the ocean, man. This thing falls. Yeah. Woo. Forget about my reverse switch here. There we go. Wow. This thing's a rocket ship. Can't imagine. imagine what the 16 footer would be like. Hey. hey Matt, so how'd you like it? I loved it. I think this is one of my new favorite boats. It's fast, uh, it's stable enough for me to stand up sideways and fish out of. I caught two fish out of it standing up today. I was able to turn around and grab my net. And when I first got in the water, I didn't undo the rudder. I could crawl back there, undo the rudder. I mean, it's stable. You have to have some bit of balance, but it is a stable boat. I'm impressed. I can't stand up and cast on this thing. And it's... <laughs> It's fun. I love it. Awesome. Are you getting rid of your Outback anytime soon? Uh, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Time will tell. All right. All right, guys. We just got back. Uh, we're on, on land, obviously. And then this guy right here is it Johnny Boats Bass 100. So, like I said before, definitely not a kayak. But it's a great personal watercraft. Because it pretty much comes ready for the motor, oh, okay. so you don't have to make any uh, make any modification. I know Matt made tons of modification on different kayaks <laughs> to take the motor, but this one comes pretty much ready, and uh, it's got tons of accessories. I don't know really know much about this boat, but uh, Dan knows more about it, so I'm gonna have Dan explain it to you or show you guys about this boat. All right, guys, we have Dan here. He's going to talk about the boat. I had a really good time. Definitely not a kayak, but it's, right. a, it's, it's a great uh, personal watercraft. That's exactly how you got to look at it. It's not a kayak. It's a personal watercraft. It's meant to be motorized, and if you're not motorizing it, you should just look at something else. But for what it is, I mean, skinny water boat or people that want that motor, they just want to get to a spot. They're not really in the sport for, for human powered or for paddling. It, a lot of people are really going to enjoy this thing, I think. First things first, let's talk about the whole design. You'll notice it's not really shaped like a kayak. It is very flat on the bottom. It's got a couple of keels here for tracking. It's almost like a little tri hole. And then in the back, you'll notice it's very, very flat. It carries that buoyancy all the way into the stern, and it's got a very flat stern. So it wants to plane on top of the water instead of sink down. A lot of kayaks that have motors kind of sink down in the back as you go. And if you put the gas motor on here, they actually have a couple of little planing fins that will attach right here to extend it out to even give you more surface area to keep that boat riding nice and flat. Uh, you see the, you know, the transom of it, that's what makes it a boat. Easy to mount a motor to. We have our homemade bracket, but we have some of the actual Johnny Boat brackets on the way. Uh, it's able to put a rudder on there. So if you wanted to go with the center trolling motor pod and steer with your feet, you could do that. If you wanted to paddle it like a kayak and have that rudder, you could do that. Um, just lots of options on the Johnny for sure. 
So the tank well is a pretty good size, but one thing you'll notice if you're using a motor with a tiller, it's kind of in the same zone as where you put a black pack or a crate. So you might have to get creative with your tackle and rod storage solutions. Uh, it does have spots to tie down a crate, but you know, when you were motoring today, your hand is kind of going over the top of it. Oh, yeah. So horizontal rod storage, that you can see they put a couple of horizontal rod storage uh, spots on this boat, and that's why. Uh, it's got gear tracks on the back on either side, two flush mounts. It also has an access port, so if you need to get inside, if you need to run wires, back stuff up, potentially even store a rod, you could slide it in there. Uh, you'll notice a couple of threaded inserts here. What this is for is for a throttle control that Feel Free has that is compatible with Honda and Suzuki motors. And basically you put the motor on the back and then it's got a cable control system that'll go up here and allow you to steer the boat uh, from the cockpit. The seat on it is trimmable. It looks like you had it high and all the way in the back position. But it's got a high position, a low position, and if you're motoring, you should put it all the way in the front position. Oh, that would have been better. Well, that way you're, you know, you're not as trimmed back. You can yeah. trim your weight a little bit more forward when, when you're underway. Uh, definitely saves you a little bit of battery life or, or gas and just maybe increases the speed a little bit by trimming it down. Uh, moving through the cockpit, you see it has little spots right here. You got a scupper, it's got a cup holder. Uh, two horizontal rod stagers. The rods can just sit right behind your seat and kind of just slide right into those tip protectors. More gear track. This is a feel-free proprietary gear track. So you do have to have a feel-free track adapter if you're gonna be using this. Just a heads up, it's feel-free company. They all have this track and I don't know why. Um, and your sonar pod here. It's actually a huge pod, really deep, lots of room inside. You could put your battery, you could put tackle, whatever you wanted to put in there. And there's several other pods that fit into this spot. So if you're not using it, this thing just pulls right out. And then you can put a motor pod. They have a, a motor pod with everything built in that'll drop right in here. And then they have a steerable motor pod, which basically allows the motor to turn 360 degrees inside wow. the pod. Right, kind of, a, kind of a cool deal. So you can have all your control there. You can have your eight ball steering and then uh, it has a couple little skags that can go off the back to keep you going straight. Uh, as mo you move to the front, you'll see more threaded inserts. This is for the Johnny stand-up bar. So you can actually mount a stand-up bar on the front. And if you wanted to, you can even mount the eight ball control on the stand-up bar. So if you're doing a lot of stand-up fishing and you just want ease of control, you can literally be standing here with your bar and steering your motor right here from the- uh, Oh, wow. So I'm looking forward oh, to getting some of those accessories. I don't have them yet, but they will be here shortly and I'll try to do walkthroughs and kind of show some of this stuff off once we get it. So yeah, a unique craft, a million ways to rig it up. Um, you know, they, their motto is go your own way and I think that kind of sums up what the boat's about. Do what you want to do with it. You can kind of make it your own. Uh, there's DIY guys that'll just go get a Walmart trolley motor and have it running for, you know, 1100 bucks. And then there's guys that will get it all decked out and even with the gas motor, the trolley motor pod, the standard bar, everything, you're still looking at about 3,100 bucks. So pretty impressive little boat. I think we'll see a lot of them out there for sure. All right guys, so here's my final thought on Johnny Boat's Bass 100. Being 10 foot and uh, being 35.5 inches wide, super stable, uh, plenty of stability to stand up and fish, um, stand up and cast and fight the fish while standing up. Absolutely no issue with that. And being 77 pounds, uh, it's still very portable, easy to cart up as well. Uh, it's definitely uh, something if you want a motorized kayak or small uh, personal watercraft, uh, this is a really good option, I think. And uh, I believe the Headwaters Kayak Shop is the only place in this area who carry them. So if you are uh, interested or if you have any more questions, uh, please call Headwaters uh, Kayak Shop in Lodi. Uh, they can help you out with that. And also, if you want to demo one, just like I did today, uh, they, they'll have a torpedo motor on there for you, for you, for you to demo. I'll be doing more kayak demos and reviews uh, on this channel, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Go outside and enjoy the outdoors.